Whenever you go shopping, you need to use numbers. If you are a careful shopper, you will try to work out what is best value and buy at the best price. But when you are a shop manager, the numbers get really big. I'm here at Tesco's store in West Ham on Hailing Island talking to Simon Shepherd, who is going to tell us about some of the numbers that he has to deal with. Even in a small store like this we sell about 130 sandwiches a day. We sell about 1,130 loaves of bread a week. We sell about 22,380 litres of milk a month. Our turnover is about 2,704,000 a year. But today numbers get bigger than this. It was the French mathematician Nicholas Chouet who lived in the 1400s that first coined the words bilion and trillion and used them to represent 10 the 12 and 10 the 18. However, later around the 1600s the other French mathematicians started to use the Latin names for 2 and 3 and defined billion and trillion as we use them today to represent 10, 9 and 10, 12. Confusion continued even through the mid-1900s and it was in 1974 as global finance began to develop that the Prime Minister Harold Wilson said that Britain would use the system as we use it today. Mathematicians continued to use the Latin prefixes for even larger numbers. A quadrillion has a one followed by 15 noughts. A quintillion has a one followed by 18 noughts. A sextrillion has a one followed by 21 noughts. A septrillion has a one followed by 24 noughts. An octrillion has a one followed by 27 noughts. And so it goes up onto the largest formally named and mathematically defined number, a centrillion, which is a one followed by 303 noughts. However, some numbers lie outside this formal numbering system. And Google is one of them a one followed by 100 noughts. This was invented more for fun than for normal use. This led to the largest named number, the Googleplex, which is one followed by a Google of noughts. The only number larger than this is infinity, which is the largest number possible, but cannot be defined in this way. And on that thought, back to the studio.